In this video, we'll take a look at the settings we can apply either to the Zolio Satellite Communicator or to the Zolio Messaging app. We'll have the Zolio device turned on and with the messaging app open, we can tap on the gear icon and from here under the settings, we have three sections where we can adjust the settings on the messaging app, on the Zolio device and some other settings. So we'll start at the top by going into my Zolio app account. And from here, we can see some of our Zolio app account details, including the ability to delete your account from the messaging server but does not stop the paid subscription to your Zolio device. Next up is app notifications. This allows us to customize either message or other sound notifications within the Zolio messaging app. This is so that you can distinguish it from other app notifications. Up next is about the app. We can see the app version terms, conditions, and licenses. Next up is follow me messaging. This is where we see the dedicated SMS and email address that we will be using to send messages to our contacts. Follow Me Messaging routes those messages via the Zolio device when our smartphone is not connected to cellular or Wi-Fi. It also allows us to receive messages to our messaging app when the Zolio device is turned off. You may want to disable this feature when you want to share the Zolio device to another user or if you need to pair with another smartphone. Up next is My Connected Zolio device. Here we can adjust some of the settings on the device itself. Let's start with Message Check Interval. When messaging with satellites, the Zolio device needs to establish a connection with the Iridium satellites in order for it to check for any new or pending messages and then listens for two minutes for any quick responses. The Message Check Interval is the amount of time in between those checks. The default is set at 12 minutes but we can change it to either 24, 60 minutes, always, or on manual. For maximum battery life, you may want to use a longer interval or manual setting. If selecting manual, you'll need to initiate a message check. Next up is device alert. The default is high, but we can change it to either low or off. Next is message tone. The default here is two, but we have either tone one or tone three to choose from. For LED brightness, you either have the default or the dim setting. After that, we have Find My Device, where if you misplace your Zolio device, still within Bluetooth range, you can ask the Zolio device to emit an audible for 10 seconds and flash purple on the LED lights. Next, we can actually power off the Zolio device by tapping on Power Off. The device will emit an audible, and you'll notice here that when we have the Zolio device turned off, we have fewer settings available. So we'll turn the device back on so that we can see the additional device settings. I will return under my connected Zolio device and tap about my device. This gives us the opportunity to view the device firmware and the opportunity to update the firmware if there is a new version available. Next up is our check-in and SOS settings. Here we can review the check-in and SOS contacts that is set up at the Zoyo portal. And if we made any changes to the contacts on the portal, we can sync those details to our device. Note that you still need to log into the portal if you want to further manage the contacts. Next up is disconnect from the Zoyo device. This will disconnect the Bluetooth connection if you're paired with a smartphone. We would want to use this setting when sharing our Zoyo device to another user or when we need to pair to another device. Next up is invite a friend. This allows you to send an email or text message to a contact to download the Zolio messaging app so that you can do app to app messaging. And finally, under the help section, we have the ability to email support, to send logs to support, and able to learn more about the Zolio device and features. Zolio, count on your connection.